and the fourth official is Mr. Thomas Holden. Thanks to Mr. Sarkin's match sponsor, who has signed the removal, match ball sponsor, well, Ed's is there as well, but he doesn't look really interested. And uh, it's to the right of centre. Four men in the wall. Tanner steps up. Oh, it's brilliantly saved. That is near post and put behind by Brad James. And the first real decent chance of the afternoon for the shots. OK, Kinsella's going to take that corner. Left-footed, out-swinger, headed away by Johnson to the edge of the area to Edsa. Edsa finds Tanner. Tanner into Miller inside the area turning he's going to try and get a shot with his left foot he does a little bit reminiscent of the one a couple of uh, games or so ago here's Hollihan on the ball on the edge of the final third spreads it out left to Ferguson gets the ball back exchanges uh, passes with Featherstone now Featherstone uh, twists one way and turns and then comes back now he chips the ball and should go all the way through to Walker but it's actually brilliantly controlled and then it comes back out and Wow, it's a really scruffy moment for the shots there. Then to pull the goal back at uh, Yeovil, 2-1 there. Weymouth have taken the lead against Aldringham, but here comes Oates on the left-hand side, going one-on-one -on -one against Sendles White. Jinx, and then he gets a shot away. It's saved comfortably by Walker, and he holds it, and he needed to because Armstrong was sniffing for any afters, Steve. Other than with his hand. Got you. Right, OK. <laughs> That's good enough. Right, uh, Ball's bouncing around the centre circle. Armstrong with a good connection. Kinsella plays it off of Oates. Oates going one on one and he goes past Sendles White. It's cutting in now and he drives it across the goal. It should be smashed in at the far post. It's a brilliant goal line clearance from George Fowler. He threw his body in front of it and I think it hit his chest. It looked a certain goal for Hartlepool Oates. Hartlepool just going through the gears on the edge of the final third Johnson they're finding pockets of space here's Hollihan with one he switches it out beautifully out to the right hand side to Sterry Sterry tries to get a cross in that's cut out by Kinsella they come again and there's a little sh push in the back and there's good advantage played by the referee out Armstrong gets the shot away it's a blistering finish for Armstrong's 13th goal of the season a really really good decision by the referee from Hartlepool's point of view to wave play on and Luke Armstrong rifles the ball past Mitch Walker and on the 59th minute mark it's Aldershot Town nil Hartlepool United 1 but there's a long way still to go Torquay obviously at Stockport tomorrow meanwhile Oates is picking up the ball in space on the left hand side to the edge of the area now squares it across two players at the far post neither can get on it and Armstrong threw himself at it yeah it, it, it's it's been a, a bit of a stop start second half to the season for Mo but undoubtedly he, he has that goal scoring quality um, you know, that, that maybe not many other players at this level can have here's Reese Oates getting away in a bit of space on the left hand side will he shoot himself he does and uh, it's off target, he tries to appeal for a, a, a touch in a corner, but uh, nothing doing there. It looks like it's going to gonna reap the ultimate reward. Here he is again in, in a 40-60 against Sendles White that he wins. He's got the ball, squares it across this time, finds Hollihan, who has, doesn't have the f best first touch. He backheels it now to Sterry. Sterry twists and looks one way and then the other. Then he plays a lovely little ball into Shelton inside the penalty area. He squares it across. The shot comes in from Armstrong and credit to the shot skipper Sendles White who heads it away on the line. Then Featherstone follows up with the shot and that's blocked as well. Ferguson it is that's going to take this one left footed and put it right into the hearts of the shot's penalty area. We've got 14 minutes plus added time left. Could be of course Featherstone that whips it in right footed. Indeed it is to the far post, needs the slightest of contacts and he's found it. And it's that man, Reese Oates, a downward header at the near post. Too much power on it for Walker, who clutched away to his left but couldn't get there. Hartlepool have doubled their lead in the 77th minute. Shots nil, Hartlepool two. Dallas got the first goal for Weymouth this afternoon, and Yeovil two, Kingsland one. Here comes Shelton for Hartlepool, driving the ball across to the right-hand side to Sterry. Sterry just stepping inside the penalty area now. Shook, shot comes in. And uh, it's, uh, saved behind his left-hand post by Mitch Walker as uh, Hartlepool come forward, but it's cut out by Kinsella. Kinsella to Betterman. 
uh, Anderson, a good turn from Kinsella, shakes off his man. Is he going to have a shot here? He's on his right foot, he thinks about a shot, squares it in the end, and he now wishes that he did. He's given a penalty. I think it's a... We'll have a look at the replay. It's a, it's a penalty to the shots here in the 86th minute. Kinsella it was with the run on his right foot, thought about a shot, pulled it back, and uh, it's a handball given against uh, Ryan Johnson. Betima, a couple of steps to his left. And now he steps up, right-footed. Oh, beautifully buried into the top right-hand corner as he looks at the goal. And the shots are back in this one in the 87th minute. Shots one, pulls two. That's a fantastic penalty from Mo Bessemer. Four is the magic number. We're going to have four added minutes. It's 90 minutes up now here at the EBB. Hartlepool coming forward into the left-hand side. Ball's left for Hollihan. He tries to get a shot. He's been tackled. He is. He's fouled. It's a penalty to Hartlepool. Uh, and they've got the opportunity. There's a little scuffle breaks out between Hollihan and Sendles White. The tempers flare and there's a coming together. And most players trying to get away. But Sendles White has lost his rag there with Hollihan. I don't know whether something was said. But uh, interestingly, the referee's got a dis another decision to make here. I believe he's given the penalty. Nicky Featherston is going to be on to that. Hollihan is over there waiting for a word. Sendles White has seen the red mist there. Um, and uh, I think both players probably are going to get yellow, which is going to keep the, uh, the referee's uh, high yellow card average up this season. Well, the referee tells him he's got to move it. He drags it back. He won't mind any of that. Mitch Walker stands in the centre of his goal at the high street end and faces Featherstone, who runs up now and hits it. Right-footed, sends Walker the wrong way. All to shot town one, Hartley Paul United three. Excellent penalty. Exactly where, where you expected him to, uh, to place that. Sort of penalty recently. Went, went to that left-hand side. But even if, even if Mitch Walker had gone the right way, it was right in the corner, he would have struggled to get to it. Cody Lyons Foster, who's had another good game, wins the ball off of Luke Armstrong. And uh, that's it. Elliot Swallow puts his whistle to his lips and brings this one to an end. The final score here at uh, the EBB Stadium is Aldershot Town 1, Hartlepool United 3. Are you in the shot? More information below. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe. No.